Billy. Kurt Gruber has been to see me. You must... Stop looking for him, I implore you. Why? He knows you, Billy. Yes. He tries to kill me from time to time. If you wanted that, you would be dead. He blew up my boat. Yes. You know? He told me. But to warn you, Billy, to ask you to leave him alone, I can't. I never knew my father, but I want him to be just dead. You know something, Mrs. Dalglish? I don't know your name, only your married one. What's in a name? A rose by any other name. I thought I was someone I knew. Billy Stanion. He'd probably end up a solicitor in his father's firm, Whitaker, Belton, Stanion. Not if I'd had anything to do with it. But you only began to know me, Vincent, after I realized I wasn't a Stanion at all. So, who are you, Billy? Me. You have one picture of me, Vincent has another. Which one of you's right? Leave Court. Forget Court. He does not wish to harm you. He is your friend. He doesn't know me. Does he? He's someone I know. I promise you it isn't me. He wants to make amends. How can he possibly do that? Supposing I was him, Billy, would that alter our relationship? If I knew? Yes. You're not advocating ignorance, Vincent. No. Are you advocating revenge? No, justice. Ah. Well, surely you're in favor of that. Of justice, yes. Of the penalty, I was never so sure. He killed my parents. How? I don't know, but he knows. Who is he? A weak man, who I thought was strong. This is the weak ones who are most dangerous. If, as you say, he has killed once, one more death is unimportant. Who is he? Mrs. Dalgleish. Give me some more champagne. You haven't eaten anything. Mr. Dalgleish used to say, a slick-it woman is my delight. To be slick-it, one must suffer. You must stop looking for Kurt. Who is he? A man who I once loved, but never understood. Why won't you tell me? Because if you know, I am afraid for what you might do to him. You still care for him? No! I care for you, Billy. You understand? Yes. I don't think you will ever hear from him again. What name is he living by now? It is cold. Come, let us walk a little. Bring the champagne, Mr. Whitaker. One can walk and sip. Boys? Don't clear away the food. My guests may be hungry later. Come. Poor ducks. To be always wet. You're sad, I think, Mrs. Dalgleish. Yes, I am not good company. You must go, Sue? Yes. Billy returns to Salzburg tonight. And he's playing. It goes well? He's doing very well. I'm glad. I'm sorry? Never be sorry. I'm glad that your playing goes well. And you are happy in Salzburg. You need money. Let me give you some. I have so much. I'm sure Mr. Dalgleish would want it. Dear Billy. And the flat in Salzburg, it will be all right. All right? Now that the young lady is marrying her man. Anna and Gunther. How did you know they were getting married? Didn't you say? I don't think so. I haven't mentioned them. 
Then it must have been Mr. Whittaker. We must go. Did you? I might have. I don't remember. Good day to you. You know him. I think he's speaking to you. Oh. And we should walk on. It is not safe to be spoken to. Uh, forgive me, please. I, I thought you were... Who? My mistake. One moment, please. Who did you think I was? A very great artist, madam. Ooh. I'm an old man. I, I don't remember names. Oh, try. Please try. What's in a name? But he may be remembering it or not understand. He may be remembering me as I was. A singer. A very great singer of opera. Yes. It is you. I think so. Lila Jack. I was Lila Jack. I don't remember names. I'm sorry. Where did you see me? In Paris, madam. And here in London? Paris, yes. I did not play in London. If you are the one I'm thinking of, you were the prima donna. Oh. Oh, I'm sure it is someone else. No, I recognized you. You recognized me? Are you hungry? Lila Check. Her name is Lila Check. Yes. Mr. Whittaker! Here is a gentleman who has seen me perform. <laughs> More champagne, monsieur. Merci, madame. You did not see my bohème. I did not give la bohème in Paris, only in Budapest. Budapest? You saw me in Budapest. Oh, oh you are so lucky. 